Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Arun Herman. Hanukkah is here, so you know what that means. Acapella groups from around the globe are looking to create viral videos to entertain you. We had the opportunity to speak with Morty Weinstein of 613 about his group's hit song, Hanukkah, a parody on Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. With over a million hits on YouTube, they're the clear winner this Hanukkah. Let's take a closer look. Whenever you look to connect to the community at large, uh, especially during Hanukkah time, uh, there's always unique videos that are developed. And uh, 613 uh, really has been at the forefront uh, in creating fun and unique videos uh, to connect people, Jews and non-Jews, to, to Hanukkah. Um, talk a little bit about going viral, uh, now over a million hits uh, on YouTube. I mean, it's, you know, every year we try to do this, and it's not... Um, you know, the, the views are, are great, and obviously it, it helps our brand and it helps what we're trying to do, but um, every year what we're really trying to do is is engage more and more Jews that may not have um, any sort of connection to Judaism, any sort of connection to Hanukkah, um, with with the heritage and the culture and sort of the, the excitement and the feeling of, of this time of year, of Hanukkah, and sort of this warm feeling. Um, so going viral is amazing because it means that we're reaching... You know, more and more people, and that's that's incredible. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Um, and, and a lot of people don't understand, like you know, it's not just you have a camera and and you shoot like a, a scene. It's like you have to be strategic. Yeah. You know, to like get those shots to bring the audience into the the story. Yeah. Uh, it's, you, actually, you it's, actually even worse. it's actually even worse with with these six guys. We're like we're all. <laughs> we're all very good friends, and we all we all like to have a good time. So you put us in a room with a camera and music playing. We and we're we're like wild. We just, we're like running around the room and dressing up and doing crazy things. And it's you know we gotta we gotta make sure we're regimented and we have a schedule and we stick to it and figure out what the shots that we actually need are. Um, but you know. <laughs> all right. So, so you 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 were involved in doing some of those shots and, and figuring that out. So how did how what was your process? Um, this one was actually was actually pretty simple um, in in theory. I mean, the, we try to sort of model it after the original Taylor Swift Shake It Off video in which they're kind of just like a whole bunch of different scenes of, of people dancing in different outfits and just dancing, like just being ridiculous and making fools of themselves. And uh, we happen to make fools of ourselves um, by accident most of the time, so doing it on purpose was, was like the easiest thing we've ever had to do. Um, so we kind of just we figured we're just gonna we're gonna take that plan and run with it. So we got a bunch of costumes and dressed everybody up and just said, okay, go dance. And yeah, I mean the the tutu thing was just like in your faces. You know, you can dress yourself up, but when you put those faces on and then you're just like it, it just it just go it just blows your mind. It's like you have to watch a couple of times. You know, <laughs> you know the, the funny thing about it is that. Um, we had one or two guys that were in charge of getting the costumes, so the rest of us actually didn't know until that day what we were going to wear. Not even that day, like until we like we got to the shoot and they handed us each bags of what our outfits were going to be for that day. So we had no idea up until that moment. So I, you know, I reach into my bag and I pull out, you know, a Batman onesie and like a red tutu. I had I had no idea. I didn't know like what combination of things I'm supposed to wear. It was just like it just happened and we all just said, you know, we all just owned it. You know, we all just said. Okay, these are our outfits for today. Let's let's put them on. Yeah, and you know the the, yeah, the, the physical comedy was hysterical. Uh, but you like you get into it. The song it just it just goes. You've been on Z100. Um, you've been on um, you know all the major outlets, uh, and it, it you really hit your target in educating uh, people about Hanukkah. How does that make you feel? It's it's amazing. Um... It's it's actually it's really cool that um, you know I sometimes you, you get stuck reading the YouTube comments um, and uh, I actually I found myself sucked into one to one thread of comments which started with someone saying something like they're afraid of Jews because they heard something about how like a Jew can hit someone if they're not a Jew and you like you you sort of like start to cringe because you know what the response is going to be it's going to be terrible everybody's going to start bashing each other. And you're gonna end up in that endless loop that'll somehow end up like in somewhere terrible. But instead, everybody responded like, "No, it's actually it's actually the opposite. Jews are supposed to, you know, um, drop whatever they're doing to save another person's life, and Jews are so kind." And it's not just Jews chiming in; it's 
it's non-Jews, people saying, oh, I'm Catholic, I have a lot of Jewish friends, and, and everybody is, is sort of seeing this video and getting the exact message that we're trying to send across, which is this warm, you know, connect to, the, to Judaism kind of feeling, and that's, I mean, it's, it's crazy. What was the most challenging part uh, of the, the shoot? Um, it was <laughs> it's all the changing. The truth is, some of the costumes belong to other people, so it was a matter of, of some of us fitting into those costumes, <laughs> but uh, that was probably the most challenging part. I don't know, we had a great time. We, we, we just danced like fools for like five hours. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, what, one of the great things is that um, whenever you're putting things out there, um, you don't know how it's going to respond. And going to your point, you know, the comments on YouTube um, and getting into mainstream uh, media is something that I think any artist, like, hopes for. Mm -hmm. um, and then being able to scale that for, for the future. Um, do you have plans, like, after this, like, once, once it hit a million? I mean, actually, probably once it hit, like, 100,000, you're like, great. Like, was there, was there a number when you're like, we did it. We actually, like, superseded our goals. I mean, I think anything that was above... Like, like our, our most watched video before this has, um, I think, 430,000 hits or so. So we knew that once it got to, like, the two 300,000 area, we were, we, were, we were pleased with it, we were happy. Um, we didn't really expect it to go, like, further than that. Um, and once it did, and before it chronically even started, we sort of, like, we stopped, like, thinking, and we were just like, well, where is this going to, like, Where's it gonna go? But um, you know, the, the goal is always the same. You know, we try to try to put out these videos and and continue pushing pushing the idea and hope that we collect more fans and build a larger fan base. That the next video can can also reach more and more people. Um, but we are we are releasing our sixth album in March, so um, that's one of the that's one of the major next steps. And uh, you know, it's it's gonna be a lot more of the same. Hopefully, just doing more performances, getting to getting to bring our, our show and our, our live um, version of all this to different communities around the world. So that's, that's really the next step, to, to just raise in volume. What excites you about acapella? Um, I'll tell you, there's something when you are singing with a bunch of other guys who are, or a bunch of other people, it doesn't have to be guys, that are your friends, that, and you sing and you, you hit something and it sounds, it just perfectly locks in. There's something about being in tune both socially and musically with a group of people that you feel close with that it transcends any other feeling that I've found so far in my life. And it's if you 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 find like a certain moment sometimes you look over at other people that you're singing with and if you all know it, you know you have something really special. And I, I don't think I don't think you find that in any other kind of music as much as Octo. I'm feeling pretty great Got lockers on my plate I love this holiday I love this holiday And kiss love is the day Like candles one through eight And a new one every day I love this holiday I'm spinning dreidels Onions and potatoes His army was so weak But they still beat the Greeks Supply of oil wasn't great But a miracle took place It burned for eight whole days Burned for eight whole days So in December Take time to remember With four Hebrew letters Spinning round Singing it's gonna be eight nights Cause we're counting up to 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. 
Just remember, if life's been getting you down, you should be thinking about the miracle of light and the story of the mad cut bees. Spin a nun and you don't get none, and you put one in if you're landing on a shin. If you wind up with a hay, you get half the total pay. But if you spin yeah. a little gimbal, then you take, take, take. Yeah! Hey guys, 613 here. Thank you so much for watching our video. This is one of the songs that's going to be on our new album coming out in March. If you like this video, send it to your friends and family. Or you can head to our website and send it as a personalized Hanukkah card. We're available for performances in 2015 and beyond, but dates are going fast. So, make sure to get in touch with us soon if you'd like to bring us to your community. On Shabbat or any other day of the week, whether it's for a big concert or a bar bat mitzvah party. And we perform these events all over the world, but our rates are more affordable than you might think. We hope to see you at one of our shows. Wait, don't forget to subscribe. Hasamea! As you can see, music is a wonderful way to celebrate the holidays and connect people from different backgrounds. This is Aaron Herman. And thank you for watching.